Baby, if you plan on jet setting and being fine like me this summer, going all around the world and I, yeah, yeah, you might want to get your tea. You might want to get your sea moss. You might want to get your lacita and get your smile right. All the products have been replenished. Drop down in the description box below. Click the link to purchase these and other fine products. Lord, I've been up for I've been up for several hours now, and I forgot I'm supposed to be damn travel vlogging. Anyway, the chef is back, and he's made this wonderful breakfast for us. Everybody is still getting ready to get up and get down here. We're supposed to, oh, yep, there go people now. Um, we're getting ready to eat, so let's see what the chef has made for us. We're gonna start out with a little fruit platter on this nice little table. Folks got their bathing suits on and stuff already. We are going horseback riding today and jumping in the cenote which is um the spring the water the rocks the natural waterfall so y'all know child that tropical shit good morning ali good morning, good morning. Just back to the cooking. so in the middle of breakfast al reynolds texts me requesting to see what outfit i was giving the girls in the morning we got a group chat me him and claudia where they've been keeping up with my fashions the fashions so Al, this is what I'm giving this morning. Just a little monochromatic realness, chest peeking through. Come on, somebody. Just a little simple bracelets or whatever the case may be. And this just for breakfast, just a little light, light, something a little leisurely. And then, you know, when they say food is ready, I might even throw this banana joint on like that and give them old, you know, granddaddy retired teas. But this just a little something for breakfast. And then uh, around lunchtime, I'll be changing again because we're going horseback riding and swimming in the cenote. So stay tuned. So for breakfast, guys, we had an authentic Mexican dish called huevos rancheros. And baby, when I tell you that thing was good, it's basically fried eggs with tomato sauce uh, on a tortilla, avocado cheese. You get the vibes. Do you have any? Baby, this food is everything. Um, how do you call it again? Huevos rancheros. Huevos rancheros. Huancheros. Huancheros is what we have, which is a fried egg situation. What's in it? Fried egg. Fried egg, uh, tortilla, beans, fresh cheese, and tomato. And tomato, avocado, y'all see it. Shy, it's a breakfast taco, basically. But this shit is good. We are about to grub. Oh, my God. Bye. Breakfast was over and it was now time for our excursion. So you know what that meant. I had to change my outfit, honey. Yes, God. I had to give them all Jack Hanna, Yosemite Park fashions, honey. It's all about the fashions. Bitch, it is hotter than giraffe pussy. And so y'all don't see them damn abs coming through. Bitch, you, <laughs> they just don't make them sexy and stylish like me no more. Anyway, I just gave the girls a little breathable mesh shirt from zara or whatever a little paint because we riding horses or whatever and then we go into the cenote which is basically a sinkhole i got some burberry trunks up under just a little accessories in my waterproof apple watch you know just real sporty and leisurely like i'm gonna wear this because it's gonna be hot on that horse and then i'm gonna throw my versace shades on and just ride on into the sunset ride on tonto if I had to find one negative about Tulum, it would be that these dirt roads are raggedy as all hell. I mean, it felt like we were riding a damn roller coaster trying to get to and fro. I'll give them a little leeway or a little credit or whatever. They are a developing uh, place or whatever. So I'm sure with time and as they continue to build, the roads will get better. But these roads were a mess. So y'all, this is the one downfall about Tulum. These roads is ragged in a motherfucker. Okay, we are right now in Six Flags over Tulum. On the Terminator. Look at this shit. I could have stayed home if I wanted to be hemmed up. Okay. We're on our way to, to go horseback riding. I hope the horses don't shake us. Like this, I should have took a trauma bean before we got in this van. <laughs> anyway, I'll see y'all at the stables. Babe, when we got to the excursion place and got out that van, it was hot as all hell. It was humid, 
sticky. The bugs is disrespectful. They ran there selling bottles of all for 10 damn dollars and the mosquitoes was eating that shit up like it was Kool-Aid. I don't know what in the hell kind of Jurassic Park reincarnated bugs these was, but they didn't come here to play. They came here to slay. So we just got to the horseback riding place and as y'all can see, I'm not featuring this shit. I'm out here sweating my ass off. I had to go to you could I had to go to the gift shop and get a bandana because the sweat was running down my face. Then we found that there's a group of seven of us, and all seven of us cannot go on the horses at one time. You can only take, I think, five or six or whatever. So two of us are gonna opt out of the horses. We're gonna go zip lining and then go to the cenote, me and my friend Melissa, while the other girls go horseback riding. Then we're gonna do lunch and Stay tuned. This actually kind of works for me because I wasn't too keen about sitting um, on no damn horse. No way. Ooh, is that damn thing? So that's how that's going to go. And uh, I'm going to see if I can give me a holler. Right. I didn't show y'all this before, but after we got off the dirt road, there's a little stand there selling bandanas and, and pants and different shades and whatnot. So I bought three bandanas for $18. It was $6 a piece. Because I got a feeling it's going to be hot and I am going to need it. This is everybody. Everybody's dressed. So yeah, I'm about to go zip lining for the first time, y'all. Uh, I said I'd never do that, but hey, let's do it. So, changing plans. We're going to go to a cenote first. Then we're going to split up. Half the group's going to go horseback riding. The other's going to go zip lining. Then we're going to go to another cenote. So, Right now we walking through the damn jungle. <sighs> Trying to get to where it is. Pablo taking us. Child. I could have stayed home for this shit. Uh-huh. Yeah. It's very important to take a ride to pick up a flight here. Because the guy those guys wait for everybody on the side. The guy make a break and then now, I make no qualms about it. I am just not the outdoors type. Never have, never will be. It's hot, it's sticky, it was humid as hell, and baby, these were some Jurassic Park bugs that was disrespectful. They didn't give a damn about no damn off, no damn skin so soft, or any other mosquito and bug repellent. <sighs> now, see, this is the shit I'm talking about and the shit I didn't sign up for. So, we're walking through the woods like we in the damn jungle book or something and the guy just says it's a two mile come on skin says it's a two mile walk that mean if we walking two miles then that's good we got to walk two miles back that's the problem oh it's me here that looks empty where the fuck is the water this is a cave bro Okay, so, so the case takes us my homegirl was just playing. It ain't two miles. Oh, we need to my Spanish stuff. So he was saying we were going to visit a cave first, then horses, then water? Yeah. I thought he said water, horse, water. He was just saying not to hear two, but it's empty, I'm guessing. No, it's down there. There's water down there. So I feel like oh, they was yeah. doing religious uh, ceremonies down here back in the day. So for those of you guys who don't know what a cenote is, it is a sinkhole that was developed as a result of underground water running through the limestone and it ultimately collapsed so as you could see all of this at one point was you know earth and it collapsed because of the underground water running through the limestone so we are walking down into the cenote Okay, Should I keep talking about this piranhas yeah. in here? There's no piranhas. Oh. Right, you have a good one? It's the little fishy. Oh, the little fish. Oh, no, I have a good one. Yeah, y'all better get it. Whoever got the better phone. Yo, these fish are okay. okay. alive. The little it's fish that eat your dead skin off your feet are in here. Water. Is it cold? Take out a little bit. It's freezing. It's so good. Let me turn oh, this off real quick, y'all. Mm -hmm. No, I haven't felt one yet, but I'm sure I will. Child, I can't believe what y'all got me out here doing. Now this shit right here was a straight setup. Here it is. I thought we were just going to basically get in the pool. I didn't know that we were going to go on a cave tour walking through this cold ass water. Oh, Y'all, so this water is so cold. And now I'm at the point where I have to... Hi! 
I don't like being cold and the fact that we're doing a tour which requires us to have to walk through here I have no choice but to get in so I'm gonna do it in increments oh oh shit bitch do you eventually get warm yeah I'm not as cold anymore it feels good. All right, girl, I'm gonna hit y'all back after I get my body acclimated to it. No flash. Come on, ma'am. I hate this. I hate this. So it's funny because I just got in the water and after the initial shock. Gotcha. Gotcha. Oh, shit. Girl, y'all got me back. They're talking about no flashes, bats, and shit. Girl, get me out of this shit. <laughs> See, this is how people die. <laughs> this is how people I die. I feel like we are in a scary movie. We gonna come back with some mommy curse. We gonna come back with some mommy curse. So the Mayans used to walk through the water to go under? No, no, they were, it was dry. Oh. It was dry. It's not that bad after you get acclimated. Girl, it's just straight up dark in here. If that man flashlight go out, we are. Uh-uh, girl. Where is that? Uh-uh, I don't want to see no bats, girl. Where they at? Uh-uh, girl. They're like dogs, bro. You know they're friendly like dogs. Like bats, they're not really. Where did you take your ass to the front of the line there? They're friendly. And they don't really suck blood like that. They eat fruits. They just suck the blood. <laughs> <laughs> I can't see. As long as they know short. Yeah, this water is really clear. We make people live in our best lives. I'm just scared. The curse of the mummy is going to get us. We got here. <laughs> Like, messing with these here. Aztec people ancient stuff <laughs> and these people gonna put a <laughs> curse he was not making me feel better with the whole Aztec no. mummy these so people, his, his narration yeah, is yeah, exactly. hilarious gonna get the mummy. these people gonna put a whole curse on our ass mummy Ooh, returns I don't want no itchy yeah. gitchy yaya -ya on me <laughs> y'all know I'm an old smart bitch one of my favorite genres of television is nature documentaries so it was very fascinating and entertaining and enlightening for our tour guide to kind of give us some history and background on what was going on in these caves. Y se forman lo que son columnas. Estas son sustentos del cenote para que no se venga hacia abajo el cenote. Ali. It's a pillar. So okay. basically, it's a pillar. Like this one grew instead of from up down, it grew from down. Oh, uh, oh wow. Yes. Okay. So it's called something different. Okay. When it's like stagnant. Like a column, like a column. Yeah. So guys, our tour guide told us that this is calcium growth. It only grows one centimeter every 100 years, and that if we cannot touch it, because our pH balance will throw it off, and a hundred thousand years will easily fall off in the water because the the balance is off. That's why we ain't got no business down here in these ancient people's <laughs> stuff disturbing them. God forgive me. So now we're walking. We got to a bridge. Oh, so these are the roots that are coming from the trees above us. And who drink in the water. Yeah. Wow. Mother Nature is amazing. Wow. So they got the trees, got an endless supply of water. There was a spider there. It was just a reflection. Be careful here, guys. And then there's a step down right here. There's a step down right here. Look at this, y'all. I see light at the end of the tunnel. Yes, I do. <laughs> that is so beautiful. That is so beautiful. I, know. I feel like we're a mermaid right now. Oh my god. Man, chicos. Yeah.
¿Y hay un jaguar allá adentro? No, se, se llama así porque los antiguos descendientes mayas este de, que vivían en esa zona solían oh, right jaguares venir a beber. Y no solamente jaguares, sino también los pumas, los black panthers. Eh, diferentes tipos de animales vienen a beber esa agua porque esa agua no es salada, es dulce. Los antiguos mayas sobrevivían, sobrevivían en la selva gracias a esta agua. Okay, so basically he said that this is called jaguar cenote mm -hmm. right, because the Mayans said that um, they would always see jaguars, panthers, and different animals coming to this specific sinkhole to drink water because it's not brackish, it's okay. not salt and sweet, it's just sweet. Right, gotcha. Since we were in a cave, we might as well have done a photo shoot, right? How many of y'all can say y'all have had a photo shoot inside of an underground spring? Two, three. All right, so here's where things get good. After we left the first cenote, the group split up. Some people went horseback riding, and me and Melissa went ziplining. This is my very first time, and boy, was it entertaining. So this first zipline is just a little small baby one. All right, guys, I'm getting ready to go. Come on. Es mejor que lo lleves contigo. Pero vamos a con él donde veas. Porque vamos a caminar muy lejos y lo vas a necesitar si es que lo quieres. ¿Y si se lo ponen en el bolsillo? No, donde quieran, pero llévenlo con ustedes. Es una forma, no sé. Para que te traigan. ¿Ya lo va? ¿Qué me conoce? ¿Con este no es de él? Oh, here we go. ¿Sí, ya? Here we go. ¡Vuela! Oh, shit, bitch. Oh, no, oh, God. How to make this shit stop? So you guys missed my first zip line because the phone was turned around as I was coming down. But it's probably for the best because <laughs> I was nervous and squealing and I wasn't really paying attention during the safety class and I didn't know how the shit was going to stop. And I wasn't sure if I was supposed to do something or not. Good thing I wasn't. So stay tuned for the second zip line from much further up and then I think we do a third from even much further up. So Melissa catches me coming down from zip line number two, which was just like a little medium one. <laughs> so we are getting ready to do our third zip line. There it is down there, Nessa girl. And I'm going to try and get a video of this the entire way down. Oh Lord, I'm scared. I am so scared. Right Hello. Just do me a favor, guys. Everybody on the ladder, please. Thank you. How fast that is. Very good. Have a seat on this. reason I thought we were only doing three zip lines and quite frankly after the third ride I was satisfied I was ready to eat lunch unbeknownst to me we were now about to get in a van drive up the mountain and do like the Jurassic Park colossal Universal Studios Empire State uh, uh, Eiffel Tower zip line of all zip lines the last zip line that we did was the last one that we were doing, but I am pleasantly surprised. There's actually a fourth one that's over, uh, I don't know, he said it's super duper tall. We actually had to get in a van to come here to drive up the mountain. He said it's 150 steps and it's one kilometer down and it's a long, hard ride. So, uh, oh boy, y'all are in for a treat. And let me mention, he said, if you're scared of heights, that at this point, there's just nothing you can do because there's no other way back down. 
other than to zip line. So they actually had to split us up into two groups, I guess because of weight restrictions. All of us couldn't go up the tower. So half the group is gone. The other half of the group, we are kicking it in hammocks. Hey, Melissa girl. She can't get in. Don't fall, bitch. I want some chips or something. And I ain't even got no money. My money in the locker. They take Apple Pay? I doubt they take Apple Pay. <laughs> we get a little time to reflect. I will say today, being in Tulum has definitely pushed me out of my comfort zone. Y'all know I don't do things with nature. I don't believe in skydiving and zip lining and all that type of stuff. I typically take all my risk on the ground. Um, but I'm glad that I did it. We got another cenote that we're supposed to be getting in after this. To be quite honest with you, after I did one, I don't necessarily have to do the other one. Um, but I think because of the way the schedule is set up, I kind of have no choice. And it's not like they've got a, a, a air conditioned lounge or something around here that I could kick it in. So, um, yeah, I just do another cenote. I don't know if I'm gonna record that because I'm trying to preserve my battery, but y'all get your life because I'm damn sure getting mine. Our guy just called for us to come up. So we're getting ready to walk up. See y'all at the top. So on the climb up, shit got real. I uh, basically began to have a panic attack as I got higher and higher up the, the, the platform. I did not know that I had a fear of heights. I still don't think I do. I was more concerned with the sturdiness of this structure because look at the shit. It's built with logs and sticks and, and, and God knows how they affix the shit up there. Knowing these foreign countries, they probably put the shit together with super glue. I definitely know that this shit would not pass any type of building code in the U.S. There was no safety nets up under this thing. And so I had to psych myself out and begin just looking at my feet and not the world around me to continue to make it all the way upstairs. So I had to pause at one minute on these steps because I was about to have an anxiety attack. They look real rickety. Oh, me too. I had to, make me too. That's why I had to start breathing and started looking at the ground and not the, whatever. but now they want this solid platform, I'm better. Me too. It was those fucking rickety ass stairs. I was stairs. looking down through the holes and I was like, oh, and, 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 and I was, I was looking at breathing I'm on tape. This, is, oh, hey, this is scary. Yeah. And it got windy and I was like, yes. Oh Lord, and now, oh God, <laughs> we're a long way from Miami, baby. Look at this, breathtaking, but I don't have to do this again. I can check this off my bucket list. All right, guys, I'm up. It stands right here. Climb me in good. I am nervous as shit. <laughs> and the only way down is to zip line. Yes. <laughs> Oh. 
at least I'm at a height now that if I fall, I won't die. I'll break a couple limbs. Oh God. Woo. Oh. 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 Ooh, my shit feel like it's stopping and I'm gonna get stuck. Ooh. Honey. So I'm going to be totally honest with you. I completely pushed myself out of my comfort zone doing this zip lining, especially that super tall one. I personally don't really believe in doing extreme sports and taking pictures with animals and all type of shit like that. That's how people get hurt. I prefer to take all my risk on the ground. Um, I did it. I can check this off my bucket list and I can honestly say with the panic attack that I was in the midst of having climbing that thing, I probably won't do this again. But it was fun for what it was, and I created a memory uh, taking part in this experience. So now we're headed to our next cenote where we all have to wear life jackets because this one is 40 feet deep. A yep. bitch thought we was going to get lunch before we did this, and I'm hungry as all hell. So I got a bag of chips from the gift shop. These hoes just going to have to get into it. Um, and then we're going to have a nice dinner at the house. Luckily, <clears throat> I got enough battery left on this phone, I think to catch this cenote the 40 feet one so i'll be back hollering in this ice cold weather child by the time we got to this next cenote i was over it it's like a party if you've been to one you've been to them all uh i didn't believe that there would be anything in this one much different from the other one that we were in so i decided that i was not going to do the tour i was just going to sit down but the ladies wanted to take a picture so we all got in the water and that is where this picture that i'm using as my transition graphic was taken so this is the final cenote. I'm just going over there to take the group picture and then they say it's about a hundred meters in and they come back. I'm gonna sit this one out. So while they are doing their excursion, I decided I was gonna get me a little pedicure. These are the fish that bite the dead skin off of your feet that they have at the nail salon, the new thing that everybody doing. And y'all see I didn't have, look at all that dead skin on my big toe. I didn't have no time to get no pedicure before I came to Tulum. So bitch, I'm gonna get an all natural pedicure. Oh. I got the little fishies. I know I wasn't supposed to do this, but I put a little piece of ruffle in there. And the fish eating it. It's natural though, it's biodegradable. Baby, by around this time, it was about 5 o'clock, 5.30. We done hiked mountains and trails and zip line and two cenotes. And we were hungry. We hadn't eaten since about 10 o'clock that morning. But part of the excursion, uh, a lunch is provided, an authentic Mexican meal. And boy, was it good. So we just finished our excursion and they provide lunch for us before we go back into the city. This is where, what is this, Reverend? What is this? Taquitos, rice, and beans. Beans. Oh, perfect. With all the fixings and whatnot on the table. They had a little margarita hut over there. You can get margaritas, mojitos. We are about to mess this food up. So after we finished up with lunch, it was time to go home. The way the excursion worked was that they picked you up from a designated pickup point, which was the in-town supermarket. And then we had to arrange our own transportation from the supermarket back to the house that we were staying. Uh, we had the time of our life trying to get a taxi for whatever reason, not for whatever reason, because of COVID and it was seven of us, some taxi drivers were saying they would only take two people. Others were saying they would only take three. We knew we would have to divide up into two cars, but we didn't think we'd have to divide up into three. Luckily, we were able to find two cars, four in one car, three in the other, and we made it home. But it was looking uh, pretty bad for a minute there. Y'all, like I'm sitting here. I got to laugh to keep from crying because we are stranded <laughs> in Mexico. The excursion <laughs> thing let us off at the grocery store but we have to find our own transportation to get back to our house and the taxis won't take us or they, or they're like they're trying to fraud us it's seven of us and they're saying they'll only take two at a time trying to get all the damn money we flagging people down they just we can't get home lord <laughs> so now everybody's mad trying to figure out what the fuck going on and i don't think 
black pussy like mine sell in Mexico, so I don't know how the fuck we finna get home, but I hit you back. In the meantime, in between time, I'm trying to get a churro, honey. If you're gonna be mad, you can't cheer up. Get a churro. So when we finally had the damn get us a cab home we had to beg borrow and steal to get a damn two cabs home we all got in the pool they rolled up a little bit of reefer and uh we swam in the pool for a little bit and uh damn bitch i look good this was two thousand dollars a month every two months in personal training to get you nevertheless we'll talk about that in, in my gym vlog um, I came in, took a nice shower, and decided that I would lay in the bed for a little bit before dinner. I got like seven minutes <laughs> before I'm supposed to be downstairs for dinner. So I'm about to get up there and go eat. I can hit him down there, so let me get my ass up. <laughs> so it's four minutes to nine, and I'm supposed to be downstairs. I wonder if they start eating and get out. Let's see. Oh no, I'm early. Say hey, everybody. Hey. Yes, we were watching the vlog table. <laughs> <Our> table <laughs> <is set. laughs> and now, now y'all be a part of vlog number two. Okay. And so the table is set. Dinner's not ready yet. I'll hit y'all back when the food hit the table. All right, so the first little situation came out, which is a guacamole little situation or whatever. Um, I think he's bringing the accoutrement to go with it. Yes, for the taco. Yes, for the taco. Oh, because we're doing, what's the name of the tacos we're doing tonight? Yes, which is the fried tacos with some kind of fancy ass sauce. Ooh la 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 um. Dinner was over and it was now time to chill and settle down. So despite the fact that I got mosquito repellent on, I had to put some pants on because these mosquitoes don't give a shit about no off. And now we got some cake over here. We about to do something in the Moroccan style. Oh, the boys are back, y'all. Somebody's over there. Uh, Moroccan style, whatever, whatever, whatever. We met some white boys over there from Tennessee. That's their villa. And uh, they gonna come kick it with us. The boys are back, y'all. We just got some chasers and stuff from the store. Just finished eating. For the remainder of the night, we just chilled out, uh, talked shit, drank alcohol, stayed up late, and we even picked up two white boys from the villa next door. Oh, I like that. That one. was cute. That, that was cute. You want me to turn the music back up? Yeah. Now, so I had to turn the music down so they could sing "Happy Birthday" to the girls. And there is an iPad that the people left us back here that controls the whole place. But bitch, let me tell you, I was looking for a printer earlier this morning, and I came back at these people's office. Bitch, I found all this motherfucking liquor. Yes, God, honey, I'm gonna drink these girls out of the house at home. So after I found that crate full of liquor, bitch, I had done got drunk and ain't record nothing else for the rest of the night. But there really was nothing to record. We just chilled out in that little area. We played Uno. We played a couple drinking games one by one. Everybody got drunk and went to bed. Me and one of the white boys was the last two up. We stayed up to about five that morning. Then I eventually went to sleep. And this concludes day two of my trip to Tulum.